Good morning, everyone, and um, welcome to another session of Reflections. And um, it's been quite a weekend. It's um, Easter, we celebrated the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, reminding us um, that, um, um, that there's a day of resurrection coming for those of us who have lost loved ones and for those of us who may be afraid uh, to die. Um, an interesting thing happened yesterday. I was, um, because of course we can't go visiting with anyone, I was, um, I was on face, now what do you call it? Is it FaceTime with my, uh, with my grandchildren? And my granddaughter wouldn't even talk to me. She was so engrossed in whatever it was she was doing. So um, I can say hi, say hi, hello, pretty, hello, beautiful. And then suddenly she just started to cry. And I said to her parents, why, why is she crying? She just let, let out a, a loud uh, cry. And I said, why is she crying? Oh, they said her TV show well, just came to an end. I started to laugh. I said, my little girl, she's, um, she's one plus. And I know she didn't understand what I was saying anyway. But um, it was a lesson for me. I said, every good thing comes to an end every good thing comes to an end so no matter how wonderful our life may be and every bad thing also comes to an end and no matter how horrible our life may be it's going to come to an end um, and that is why resurrection is very critical that is why easter is such a big celebration for us as christians because that is our hope that this is not going to be the end because um, as the bible says it says that if um, if all our hope is in this world then we are of all men the most miserable um, and that says a lot because um, <laughs> if uh, if all there is to us as human beings is this life and you think about it life is maybe you know if you are blessed you have good health um, the lord has mercy on you all things around you work perfectly. Or oh, maybe you can live to be 120. Um, well, and if, you, if that's what you want, good luck to you. I wish you all the best. My grandmother was, um, my two grandmothers, actually, both my maternal and um, paternal, they both lived to be over 100. Um, and my paternal grandmother was very sharp to the end. Um, but... She fell when she was nearly a hundred. In her nineties, she fell, and because of that, she had to be in a wheelchair. But apart from that, all her faculties were, you know, they were. The, she, she, she was just very sharp. But even at that, the quality of life for her, and she was very well taken care of for her children, grandchildren. She was surrounded with love. And my maternal grandmother was the same. Uh, my maternal grandmother died at I think she was a hundred and four. And she too, up till the very end, all her teeth were in place, very sharp, you know, very, the only way you will know she was, her skin was just beautiful, radiant, shining. The only way you will know that she was really old was all her hair was white and she had hair, but it was all white, but to the end. But again, like I said, every good thing ends, every bad thing also ends. So. When we think of those, when we think of that, what should we, what should be important? So this morning, I want to talk to us about priorities. Priorities. I hope you are keeping your journal. Here is my journal. Um, all my notes are in here. Because this for me is a journey as well as it is for you. We are both learning together. I'm learning along the way. And I'm learning a great, a lot of great lessons. If you turn your Bible to Luke 18, Luke 18, um, 18 20 to 23 there's the story there of of a young ruler a young man he was he he, he he was already he was making it he was prospering he was successful and he came to jesus he felt good about himself he had accomplished the bible describes him as a young ruler luke 18 and the bible says he came to jesus and said lord um good teacher Good teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said, why, why are you calling me good? 
Um, and then the Lord gave him the commandments. Do not steal, do not commit adultery, do not be a false witness, honor your father and your mother. And the young man said, hmm, I've got this nailed. He said, he said to Jesus, oh, he said, I've done all these things since I was a child. And then the Lord Jesus looked at him and said, if you read the story in the book of Luke, Luke um, chapter 10, uh, Luke, uh, I mean Mark chapter 10, if you read that story, the Bible says that Jesus looked at him and loved him. I like that. Jesus looked at him and loved him, and I'm sure the Lord Jesus was saying to himself, look at this young man. Uh, he thinks he knows a lot of, about life, but there's still a lot he needs to learn. And Jesus said to him, he said, you still lack one thing. I want somebody to say one thing. I'm talking this morning about priorities. He said, sell all that you have and distribute to the poor and you will have treasures in heaven and then come and follow me. You know, I've read this scripture over and over and over again and I've preached sermons on it and I thought I understood. But this morning as I was, as I was meditating, this scripture came back because I, had, I knew that I was going to talk about priorities and I just kept saying, what is it that is important about priorities? And the scripture came to my mind. A month ago, two months ago, this wouldn't have had the meaning that it has to be now. Because this morning as I thought about it and the scripture came, the Lord said, send all that you have and distribute to the poor and you will have treasures in heaven. <laughs> I said, oh my goodness, the Bible is always current. Who would have thought? If somebody had told me this two months ago, I would have said, uh, um, well, I will give a good offering. I would, you know, I would, um, I would, um, I would be consistent with my tax, which I have been doing since the day I gave my life to Jesus, <laughs> which is over 30 years ago. Nobody preached a sermon to me about giving my tithe. I, the Holy Spirit ministered to me and I have been doing it for over 30 years and I have absolutely no regrets. But to tell me to sell all my things and distribute to the poor and come and follow Jesus, that's a totally different level. And you know what? This morning it all came to me. I understood. With this pandemic out there, I looked at my closet. There are dresses I can't wear because I'm at home. Shoes I can't wear because I'm at home. And if this becomes our way of life, there are many things that we have that we don't need anymore. So when Jesus said, sell everything, he was saying, set your priorities right. There are things about life that, <laughs> that you think are important now, they mean nothing. You have to look at the big picture. When everything ends, whether good or bad, have treasures in heaven. My granddaughter, we had to end that call yesterday because she needed her show to come back on, but the show was done. One day this show on earth is going to be done. What are your priorities? What are your priorities? Jesus said to Mary, his to, to, to Martha, Martha was busy being the good woman, hospitable, entertaining, and Martha sat at the feet of Jesus and was listening to Jesus teach about eternal life. And Martha came to report to Jesus that Mary, my sister, is lazy. She's not helping with the housework. Jesus looked at her and said, Martha, you are occupied by so many things. Many of us are still occupied by our 401k. Our stock market, our uh, pay, our you know, our um, our this and our that, our clothes that we bought that we thought we were going for a party and we cannot wear because and our show be you know we are thinking about all these things, but <laughs> one thing is needful. What is your priority this morning? We are shutting. We can't go out. What is this season saying to you? What is your priority? All these things will pass. What is your priority? Jesus said to the rich young ruler, he looked at him. He loved him. 
and be saved. One thing you lack, you do not have treasures in heaven. Heaven is forever. Eternity is forever. Do you have, are you going to heaven? And if you are going to heaven, you are born again. You've surrendered your life to Jesus. You've confessed your sins. You've repented. So now you are a Christian and you are born again. You know you are going to heaven. But do you have treasures in heaven? Do you? Good morning, everyone. Once more, it's been Fumi Obilano this morning on Reflections. I want to have a word of prayer with you. So, Father Lord, help us to set our priorities right so that we will have treasures in heaven. And once more, I pray for everyone, no matter where they are right now. Because, Lord, heaven is not yet here. Eternity is not yet here. And life continues. Wherever anyone may be right now, whatever pain they may be going through, because you are also a God of mercy and a God of grace, I pray, Father, that the power of your Holy Spirit will travel through the airwaves. Whatever may be the need, whether it's healing, whether it's provision, whether, Lord God, it's a, it's a relationship, whether it's deliverance, whether it's spiritual, whatever it may be, Lord, please, let your miracle power begin to walk in that life right now in the name of Jesus. And for all those, Lord God, who are, who are, who are terribly sick at this time, whatever that sickness may be, whether it's the, 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 the coronavirus, Lord God, whether it's cancer, whether it's, whatever, whether it's diabetes, whatever it may be, you are the great physician. Lord, send your healing power. And for those who have been abused in their home and they have no way of escape, Lord, be with them, strengthen them, make a way, oh God, deliver them. Father, take them out of the hand of that abuser. Shield them, oh God. Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. See you tomorrow. By his grace, I hope we'll all be here. Fumio Bilama, Reflections. Good morning.